Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to the single player of Satisfactory, the single player series. I'm just surveying my domain and thinking about what to do next. And one of the things I think I might do in this series is I might tap every resource I can. And rather than worry about kind of splitting, you see how I'm splitting here, I want just a massive row of smelters, even if they're largely unused. I want a one for one item construction ratio thingamabobby. And that means that. I don't have to worry about uh, splitting and merging things later on. I, I don't have to worry about back pressure. I mean, it'll be there. So back pressure is what I'm calling, or what my mate Silence from the multiplayer series calls, this um, slow effect as, as the belts are backed up here. I'm not going to try and be 100% efficient on pulling stuff out of the ground. What I want to be is to have no delays when I'm making stuff. I want everything to be flowing fast. And if that means a ton of smelters producing way too many bars, that's fine and to do that I'm gonna to have to strip the factory down a bit but what I am gonna to have to do first is get some more tech and the first one I think the utility which will be very important is biofuel and that um, whatever the heck it was that I saw the tower because towers are just kind of handy to check your check your place out I have been making quite a bit of stuff so that the whole place is zipping away very well the next ones I want to look at are probably, I'm not so worried about these walls, I'm not so worried about scanning, mm, assembler rotor, obstacle clearance, obstacle clearance might actually be handy and the jump pad maybe as well, so I have to wait for the pod to come back for that. What I should also just check is what is my... Oh, where are you? Production. What does it take for a miner? I have everything. I have lots of everything there. Okay, I'm going to go put down a miner while that job goes on. And I might just put up here, if I've got the resources, one of the observation towers, just because they're kind of cool. And I can then look around a little easier if I put this bad boy down. There it is. Zoop, up we go. And... Oh, yes, that looks very fine, doesn't it? So yeah, the grid definitely needs to be just worked on a little bit more, the foundation grid. And the other thing is to sort of, I guess, gather more resources. So I'm, I hate ladders in games. I always suck at them. And then I uh, fall off to my death. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to go down here and set up some new miners. And they're going to be, let me have a ping so you know where they are. It's going to be, boop, 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 there are them. Three iron mines. It's going to be beautiful. All right, we've got one miner down, and the next one is... Oh, I've already got a hotkey, of course. So we'll put it... Is it going to... No, that's not a miner. What am I doing? Uh, production, a miner right there. Do I have... I don't have the one for the next one. That's okay. I don't have another portable miner. So we'll just connect these up to power. And one of the things I have to think about is how am I going to get this stuff like up? Because... I don't have any of the advanced, um, I can kind of weirdly stack them, which is a bit cheaty, but I don't mind. I don't have any of the, the advanced uh, belt stacking technologies yet, so we're just going to have to do it the slightly, slightly dodgy way, but that's okay. I, I think we can be forgiven, all in the name of growing the factory, right? Endless growth. That's what we're about here. So if I pull this one in... Actually, I'm not really ready for them all to come in yet, so I'll get it close, and then we'll see how we are soon. So that's going to be where that goes. That's two extra mines there. Nice. And the other one, I, the other job I really want to do is to set up the a little biomass to biofuel production because these generators are going to start to need um, a lot of fuel, and the best way to do that really is with uh, biofuel. So what I'm going to do is I've decided that oh, where are you, thin foundation? Um, do I have you set? I'm going to use you in slot uh, 5. There we go. So I'm going to drop down some foundations here and I'm going to set up a very small little factory chain. And what it's going to do for us is produce biofuel and it's going to dump it out uh, basically nice and close to where I'm going to be hanging out powering stuff. And that should... not too close to that. Hmm... Do I want to put that somewhere else? No, I think that's probably okay. So we're going to have one container here, which is the output uh, container. 
Actually, I'm going to put the constructor down first. Not that. So where are you, constructor? So I'm going to put a constructor down and it's going to turn biomass into biofuel. And that's very efficient power source. Okay, so that needs to go there. Um, no, I can't line that up. It's just going to be like, like kind of like that. And then the container's going to go here. Yeah, relatively close to the edge so I can come get it. And just go like that. It might have to be a little bit wider by the looks of it. We'll see. What I want to do is have another constructor over... Where are you? Over this way. Like, we'll just line these up. And they're going to go this way to here. And then I'm going to have a box to feed it. So this one is going to make biofuel when I power it up. This one is going to make biomass, I'm going to say out of leaves for now. I kind of wonder if if I should set up two of them. Hmm, you know what, I might just do that. There's kind of this thing you always do where you, um, no, don't, don't, can't afford it, where you end up constantly switching between fueling with biomass for wood and biomass for leaves. All of it doesn't really matter to the game, the game just wants to make biomass into biofuel so if I'm going to merge biofuels or biomasses to make a single biofuel yeah so don't worry if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you right now you'll see it in a second it's going to be brilliant or at least possibly okay and actually you know what I kind of need like a little walkway here I wonder if I can get away with it if the game will let me oh yeah it is uh, where's the lower ramp? Eight. Yeah, that'll make life a little easier. So, we're going to come up here. We're going to have uh, three constructors. So, where is the other one? They're all going to be lined up. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, yeah. I'm going to actually space it out slightly. And there's going to be a merger block over here. Merger, um, yep, that's how you're going to go. Yeah, okay, so you're going to go here. Oh, can't afford. Okay, so that's fine. So that one's going to be biomass leaves. This one's going to be biomass wood. And then I'm going to have two storage containers. I better go get some plate. Okay, I've got the bits I need now. So we're going to put in the containers here. So one of them is going to be... Where are we? Organization. Oh, it's in four. I've already got a hockey. Tiny pie, you silly idiot. So it's going to be like a wood one there, or a leaf one there, and then the wood one here. So this should work really well. And it will make life a little easier to have all of this automated to a degree until we get coal. But coal is some distance away, to be honest. And Okay, that's looking fine. What we need is power. <sighs> this is where it always gets a bit hard, doesn't it? Not having enough power lines. I'll chuck this all the way down to here. And from here to here. You'll connect to that. You'll connect to that. You'll connect to that. And... Bio, no, uh, biomass, biofuel. Okay, so if I put leaves in here, this is cool. You'll see them pop out. Aren't they gorgeous? And then I'll come over here and I'll put wood in here. They'll come out. These guys will make stuff as soon as they hit the number that they require. It's five. And then biomass gets chucked out here comes the biomass and it goes in here I can't load in any myself and biofuel will get made yay that's gonna be lovely all right so I want to put a little uh, little on ramp because I like my ramps if it doesn't complain about encroaching does a little bit um, I'm gonna pick that one up and then we're gonna put down a little ramp no uh, well, not that one that one that was a cute one so now i can afford to put actually i'm going to put this power a little bit over here since it's out of the way 
that's still handy. Okay, cool. Put a power pole. Did I just disconnect everything? Uh, no, I didn't. All right, great. So now we've got all these burners running, except for this one. And I can run over here now and collect the biofuel that's been spat out. Not much, but it's a start. And it burns for a very long time. So that's also good. Biofuel go in there. Phew. Okay, that's great. That's a nice little job done. And it's going to be fine. And as we run around and gather grass, we can just come back and we can just shove it in the boxes and be perpetually pleased with ourselves, basically. That's my plan. I'm also thinking about a bit more concrete. Just because I really, really, really like concrete. As we know, it's a little bit of a bit of a problem I have. So there's one there, one there. We've merged those. Where else did I see one? 280 meters that way, so 240, 27 meters. Hmm. 280 meters, really? All the way over there? So I've found a, a couple of spots here for limestone, and in fact, I'm not sure. Oh, they did register. Good. Sometimes they don't register in the game, which is a little odd, but these ones have, so I can plop them down. I'm going to do that clear out some of them some more of these bushes what i'm thinking is that i've laid a little path down here and so this side of the factory is going to be where inputs come in so i am going to grow the rest of the factory kind of that way inputs are going to come in from the side over here so i will need to lay this belt out i hope i have enough clear a bit of this grass we'll go this way out and then this way. And also there are a few glowy worms around, glowy slugs. I've seen one there and this one over here. I don't quite have a use for them yet. I do want them because they will make power production a little cheaper. And that's basically a, a quite useful thing for them to do. And I'm just going to swing this one in over here for now. Clear out some more of this grass and scrub. And uh, I think I'll just, I will bring it all the way up. Um, up to here. Get it up the side of this ramp. And uh, not too far. Yeah. And then what I will probably do is I might pull in another, another constructor right here and kind of merge things into... Yeah, it does look like there's a gap here. I could merge them all into a single box, which would be handy. So what would I do for that? I think we will have a constructor um, just lined up right like that. Okay, it's all pretty much fixed now after I stuffed it up kind of badly. And I'm just going to get this belt in and then connect it to power which will be a job that isn't too hard I would like to think there to there okay so phew, we don't have any power on the on the concrete production yet but as you can see goods are being moved uh, along this and they're currently at maximum capacity because I'm just emptying that box so this box which is relatively near where everything is or should be is now great all right I'm gonna pick up all the junk out of it fine I now need to run power all the way down to the bottom. So, where is a spare power line for me? What I will do, I think I'll put a power pole here. Four of four. Oh well, I'll take that power pole with me. And connect. Okay, cool. So, that's a whole extra pile of concrete coming through. What kind of quality is it anyway? Is it pure or just normal? Okay, so that will absolutely support one factory all on its own. And I suspect there's more over... Yeah, there's another one there. I don't think I'll need it. And I heard an, um, a creature over there, but I don't have my hand zapper on me. So I can't get close to them just yet. I'm just going to have to ride this belt all the way back and move on with the next project, which I think is going to be picking up those uh, tech milestones that are currently sitting there waiting for me to unlock. There's quite a few of them and I do have the resources to grab pretty much all of them without problem. Well, at least a, a bunch. And the obstacle clearing would be helpful. And I can also start loading up my biofuel. 
So that's going to work. Yeah, that's going to work great. Excellent. I'm pleased with that. Overproduction is always a good thing in this game, I found. How are we looking? So biofuel's there, but there won't be much in there. Leaves can go into this one. And wood into this one. And then they'll just chug, chug, chug. And I will check we have 12 biofuel. Not exactly a lot. Can I just top you up? I think I can. Excellent. So that's working. I'm going to go pick up the remaining resources that I need from here. From those pipes and plates. And then we'll see what we get to. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Uh, yes, more pipes and plates. And I also need a bunch more wire. And I've actually turned off cable production because we were just getting too much of it. Um... And were we splitting? No, we're no longer splitting. We're just using it directly here. I need a lot of it. Cool. Whoa. Sky Whale's going over. Where are you? There you are. Good job, Sky Whale. Keep being adorable. Now, let me just do the tech upgrades and we will be in a happy, happy place. And zip, zap, blop, and a bloop. And what else do we need? More, more of that. What am I missing? Oh. Oh gosh, slightly more pipe? I don't believe it. Do I have any more anything in here that I can use? <laughs> no, I must go get it. Alright, third time's a charm. And Badoosh. Off goes Drone Boy. Woohoo. Additional to an inventory expansion. You are nice. not capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of chainsaw. Oh, we've got to get a whole bunch of this stuff. Okay, that's fine. I can make some of that. I'm going to do that for the final part of this episode. It's going to be awesome. So just hang around there for a second. Okay, we've got the goods we want. Let's make a chainsaw. And zap. Boom. Okay, do I still have my Xeno Zapper as well? Where is it? Are you in here, Xeno Zapper? So you are. What are you doing in there? Okay, right. Well, we have a little... Yes, that's a good time. We have a little bit of fuel... Now, who is out? Is it you guys? Oh, you're out of fuel. Okay, so you can have half. That will do. Okay, well, you you can have half as well. Right, we'll put half and half in. Oh, every, everybody's out? Okay. Well, I will go check the system over here. I think some more did spit out, so that's good. Who is short? Uh, you are, aren't you? So, split you in half. You can have that much. That should be enough to get it going. Okay, just enough. So, with the chainsaw in hand, you can see I can do a bit of clearance. We can clear out some of the scrub now. Just got to run up to any of these trees, have them highlighted, and hold down the old button. Boom! And that is a bunch of wood and leaves and stuff. We must begin the deforestation of this adorably gorgeous planet promptly, because the factory must grow. That's all that counts around here. Well, a simple bit of gathering later, like a minute's worth, and I have, like, a lot of wood. And yes, I know you're short of stuff. Just let me load up the things in here. So that's a bunch of leaves. There's a bunch of wood. And that is all going to produce just beautiful quantities of fuel for us. And it's going to be quite... Can I turn that on? Yeah, it's going to be quite easy for that to just make a lot of fuel. There you go, look, already another 52. So I do need to top these up. And in the next episode, what I'm going to do is mess around with uh, gathering some slugs. And we're going to probably do a little bit of refactoring of the, of, the, of, the, of the factory. What am I trying to say? A bit of refactoring of the factory. I hope you'll stick around and join me then. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Click the link in the description below to go and get the game yourself. And good night. <laughs>